For the past four winters, Fresno and the San Joaquin Valley have been plagued by measly rainfall, while meager snowfall has fallen on the Sierra Nevada range to the east. The lack of spring and summer runoff from the Sierra snowpack has meant a shortage of water for agriculture and communities, forcing an increasing reliance on pumping water from already overdrafted subterranean water tables. Now hopes are high for a possible savior to provide a moist blessing for the region, a vast swath of warmer-than-normal water known as El Nino circulating in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Scientists say it has the potential to play a key role in the formation of storms that could bring much-needed rain and snow to California and at least ease the effects of the severe and prolonged drought in the valley. It's referring to the warm phase of the sea surface temperatures. Recently they've been on the order of about three to four degrees above the average, which is considered strong. Meteorologists say they expect this El Nino to be one of the strongest in the past seven decades, rivaling the last strong event in 1997-98 that brought plenty of rain and snow to the Central California region. Most El Nino events mean a higher probability of above average rain and snow in California. The greatest chances are in Southern California and diminish moving north through the San Joaquin Valley. For the valley, forecasters expect a 50% chance of above average precipitation this winter, especially as we move into January, February, and March. But Oaks said there are no guarantees for a drenching, pointing to a strong El Nino in the winter of 1965-1966 that produced rain and snow amounts that were well below average. Meteorologists, however, say the 50% probability for the valley makes them reasonably confident that Fresno and the mountains to the east will see more rain and snowfall this winter than in any of the past four drought years. Even so, weather experts say it will take more than one good winter to ease the long-term effects of drought in the region. Oaks said it would require multiple consecutive years of wet winters, perhaps three or four years, to make up the deficits of the past few years of drought. Reporting for the Fresno Bee, this is Tim Sheehan.